Okay, I am in Tugby in eastern Leicestershire near the Rutland uh, County line and I'm on my way back to Prestwold and Burton on the Wolds from from seeing the Cecil family monuments and the house over at Stamford, Burley House at Stamford. And uh, Tugby's right on the way and I'm stopping in here because the Skipwith family had holdings here at Keythorpe Manor and as it turns out my 10th great grandmother's great-grandparents Henry Skipwith and Jane Hall lived here uh, in the late 1500s. Um, Jane, Jane had lived here with her first husband Francis Neal who was the owner of Prestwold and Keythorpe down here and uh, after he died and, and left her and the children uh, in 1559 she married Henry Skipwith and they stayed here and, and she had children with Henry about 10 children and raised them all here at Tugby and then uh, she and her son William Skipwith my ancestor that was buried at Prestwold which I showed in another video actually bought uh, Prestwold Hall up north of here from Jane's daughter by Francis Neal name of Mary Lady Mary Digby uh, who was an ancestor of the Dukes of Hamilton uh, the current Dukes of Hamilton today and uh, long story short, with all of that information, uh, we're back to Tugby here, and Henry and Jane Skipwith both lived here and died here, and they are buried in uh, an unknown crypt in, under the church. But there is a memorial inside to them on the wall. Uh, it used to be in the front near the high altar, but I was told that it, has, it was moved to a, a very high back wall in Victorian times to make room for the organ that was uh, moved in and put in here. So anyway, this church is, is, has, has been here since Saxon times, and of course renovations have been done on it. And uh, they are getting ready for Heritage Weekend because there were some renovations done on the building and the, like the bell tower, and there's quite a big celebration tomorrow of this. And I just happened to be here the same weekend, and I am attending the church service tomorrow as a descendant of the Skipwith family. And as far as we know, I'm probably the only descendant of the old families here. And having come so far away, it's just a, it's, it's just a special event for me and for them. So I am going to take the camera inside the church. And these are our church ladies that are cleaning and preparing tomorrow <laughs> and they're working Just so hard we have cleaned you have we cleaned have prepared, and now we're hoping and praying <laughs> that's right we're going home now great we've been here all day since well, the it's still open okay yeah. I'll, I'll go in and i'll be done shortly okay Oops. bye bye okay we are inside the church of St. Thomas of Becket in Tugby. And uh, they've, they've added a social area back here. This used to have pews, but they wanted an area where people could have coffee and visit. And uh, really a great group of people are very, very kind. I, I've run into this in England the whole time I've been here. It's just the, the people are very warm here and have made me feel very welcome. And of course, with my family roots that are over 700 years, sometimes in some cases 800 to 900 years deep here, there's a lot of history here. And of course, we're going to... It's a very small church, but it's, it's just really a nice little building. And... Tomorrow, I was told I will be sitting um, right here, reserved with my hosts. Uh, and the reason we are, they're putting me here as a, de I'm a descendant of the Skipwiths, uh, they put me close to this monument, the, uh, which is the Neal family. Although I'm not related to them, this is a monument to Richard Neal, who was Lord of the Manor at Prestwold and here at Keythorpe. 
uh, his son, Francis, was married to my 13th great-grandmother, Jane Hall, uh, as, as his second wife, and it was her first marriage. And she had two children with him, Mary and Thomas. And uh, Mary married Sir Everard Digby, and they had a son who was executed for participation in the gunpowder plot in 1606. Um, after Frances Neal died, 1559, uh, she married Henry Skipwith and had a very large family with him, and their eldest son, William, was the son and heir, and was my 12th great-grandfather up at Prestwold, where he is buried with his second wife, Jane. And this is the monument that I was talking about to uh, Henry Skipwith and Jane Hall Neal, with the widow Neal, uh, on the wall. We can't read it, it's so high. Uh, they are giving me a transcription tomorrow. But uh, Jane, Jane and William were from very prominent uh, noble families here in England. Uh, Henry was descended from the Dimmock family of Lincolnshire, which I've alluded to in another, in another video. Uh, the Demics were the king's champions, a uh, hereditary office uh, that's been in the family since the, possibly since William the Conqueror, and it continues to this present day. And the Demics are descended from King Edward I by his second wife, Margaret of France. Jane Hall was born into a, a wealthy merchant family, although her paternal grandmother was a member of an aristocratic family from Suffolk by the name of Wingfield and uh, she was descended from the Earls of Arundel through the Wingfields and back to the Fitzalans and uh, had a line going back to King Edward I by his first wife, Eleanor Castile. And she actually had another line to the Earls of Salisbury through her mother. So there, there's, there's some uh, old connections back to the Plantagenet Kings of England in uh, both sides of his family, the Skipwiths and the Halls. So there you have it, the Church of St. Thomas of Becket in Tugby, England.